Bang. guys guess what today is it's my surgery day it is 3 a.m in the morning and yes i am up still up matter of fact because i have not gotten no sleep my mind was all over the place anxiousness <laughs> nervousness everything but i'm so glad that this day has come and i can get this over with and i can start getting my body back in shape guys i am so excited i have so much excitement going on right now in my body but anyways guys i want to show you guys a little bit what i'm going to be doing today before i get to goals and um I'm basically be starting off with getting my stuff together, which I already got my stuff together. I just need to get everything and put it downstairs on the couch in my family room so that I can just grab it and go. Um, I gotta get my blanket and stuff and my pillows and stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna fix me some oatmeal and maybe an egg and two pieces of bacon or something because they said to eat a big breakfast in the morning. But anyway, guys, you guys stay tuned because I'm kind of tired, so I don't want to get into detail about everything because I haven't got any type of rest. So um, you guys stay tuned for the rest of this vlog. See you guys soon. Guys, here's the oatmeal that I ate. It's gluten-free. I bought this from Walmart, so. If you're a fan of gluten-free oatmeal, you can buy this from Walmart. I stay away from gluten and dairy. So guys, here's my breakfast that I'm about to eat before my surgery. I know I'm not gonna eat all this properly, but <laughs> this is my healthy breakfast. Y'all excuse my washer, that's my washer making all that noise. But anyways, I'm about to go ahead and start eating my food so I can get up out of here. You guys stay tuned. I'm gonna go upstairs before I leave so I can show you guys, you know, my dress and all that good stuff. And so I can, you know, show you guys my before pictures. But guys, you stay tuned. Let me go ahead and chop it up real quick. I'll get back with you guys in a second. About ready to get this belly off of me. Here's my befores, guys. Just think if I didn't have this, all this thing that was coming. I'd probably have a little shape, you know? But here's my before. Y'all see, I already got the hips. I already got them hips. I mean, I can get a little addition onto it, but my hips are already poke out there. I just need a little more weight to that butt which <laughs> i had already i just lost it <laughs> but i don't understand it's a lot of females that don't be wanting to lose weight because they afraid of losing their butt but i felt like should being healthier is better and there's a solution being that you know you can lose the weight and then you know go back and get a mommy makeover or a BBL, you know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna need a mommy makeover because this belly is not coming off with the BBL. It's too much extra skin and on my arms, it's too much extra skin. So I'm gonna have to get that removed too. But I don't know if you guys know that my doctor um, wanted me to get this skin removed because I keep getting infections under there because I had four C-sections. I'm a mother of six, so yeah. My skin be rubbing here and 
it got to be removed. I don't care what the pain feel like. It got to be removed. But yeah, guys, this is my before body. This is the last time y'all gonna be able to see my stomach and my booty this little. Which I don't need no big, big donkey butt. I want a natural butt. I don't need a donkey butt because I don't like a lot of attention. So I want it to be natural looking, you know? About to go wake my hubby up because it's getting close to 3.45. Oh, bitch, you still in sleep. Yep, still knocked out, y'all. He just got in from work like two hours ago, so I hate to wake him up. Dad. Dad. Mm. You ready? Mm. Hmm? <laughs> Got my pictures. I'm gonna show the doctor. Got my bag. I'm sorry, babe. I know you just went to sleep. Huh? I said, I'm sorry. I know you just went to sleep. Here's my chucks. Here's all my utensils I'm going to need after my surgery. So, guys, I'm about to make my bed really quick. Here's my black sheets that I got from Walmart. And um, I'm going to put the chucks on the bed so that, you know, it won't be draining all over my bed. Yeah, they, they, you could have got those the bigger ones. Yeah, I hear a lot of people say they get the dog pads. Yeah, but they more thicker. I didn't get no sleep. You did? Why? I'm thinking about this. Yes. I was still trying to think. You know what, guys? I've just been thinking like, how did I get here? To I mean, because I remember just not so long ago. I was 257 pounds and I was always in the hospital. Y'all see how I did that? My stomach hurts. Always in the hospital. But she was always okay in the name of Jesus. And when I moved here in 2019, it's like, I think I might need to put a roll over there. But when I moved here in 2019, you know, I've just been consistent on trying to improve myself and my health and my life, you know? And now I've lost all this weight and now it's time to shake me back up and get me back to my natural figure. Because, you know, I just want to feel myself again. I want to feel, I, I feel beautiful inside and out with or without a BBL or skin removal. So, I love myself. So, 
I really wasn't expecting this to happen this soon. But hey, it's happening. So, let's do this. I'm ready. So guys, look, this is how I'm putting my bed, you know. My hubby's still gonna sleep on that side, so I don't wanna put no chucks all up under him. He ain't gonna be draining none. I don't want to be sleeping on all that. Yeah. I'm still trying to process all of this, you know? Everything is happening so fast. What do you always tell me? Just, that's good enough. Just go do it. <laughs> yeah. Just do it. Yep. Yeah. Like Nike said. Just do it. guys it's all made up looking real nice and ready for me to get in it um, my, my uh, reminder told me I need to be arriving for my surgical procedure in 19 minutes seriously justice looking like justice just like something she would have done right something she would have done you need the scissors? Uh -huh. This is my little pregnancy pillow, guys. I'm not pregnant, but <laughs> I'm just getting this pillow. I want to see how, see if I'm going to be able to lay on it, you know, swirl it up in a little circle, and I'm going to sit my little butt on up in there until I get my BBL chair. There you go. Silly, but you're funny. Okay, well, I love you, mommy. Yeah. There's a little pregnancy pillow. He always doing something. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I will make you my thumbnail. Just like that. Come on, let's go. Oh. <laughs> you're so silly. All right, guys, I am on my way out the door. I'm ready in my little robe, you know what I'm saying? I'm ready to go, get this over with. I'm about to brush my teeth one more time and I am about to be heading out the door. You guys pray for me in Jesus' name. Pray for me a safe procedure, okay? Please. What you thinking, babe? You about ready for this? <laughs> you ready for me to come back with a, uh, a extra large booty? Huh? How you gonna handle that? <laughs> How you gonna handle that? <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> well, he ain't gonna know what to do with it, y'all. What are you gonna be out to here? No, I'm just playing. I don't want no big booty back. I don't need no big booty. I love the booty I got right now. Me too. <laughs> right, so I'm about to go ahead and give my babies a kiss really quick. Before I leave.
Yeah. Take out that coat. It's hot. Why you on the coat? <laughs> I'm gonna need the footstool because look how tall this truck is. <laughs> well, we in the car and I gotta look at my purse to see to make sure my medication is in there because I know they said if you don't have your medication, they charge you like a what they say, two hundred and fifty dollar medication key thing. I already got my phone off and my Benadryl. I have that. And um, I know I have to have my other one in here. Okay. And here's my other meds here. So. Yeah. So I got that. Guys, we are on our way. COVID-19 alert. Before you go, verify info for goals plastic surgery. BBL Surgeon Atlanta, liposuction specialist, Brazilian butt lift and flux sculpt 360. <laughs> did y'all hear her? She did not have to read that off like that. She read off the whole... Right. <laughs> wow. Anyway, guys, we are three minutes away. Yeah. Um, Siri late. What's her name? Google Maps, the Google Maps chick, she just read off the whole entire description of our location. <laughs> the whole highway herder. Nah, I'm just Take exit 34. Your destination is on the left. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Well, you came into the building. This way, I'm trying. Mm -hmm. This way, I'm trying to tell you. Yes, babe. You're going to park right here and go that way. You act like I don't know or something. You asked me a hundred times. Do I need to drive down there? No, no, no. Well, shoot, don't look like the way. Because we be here or the way. So that ain't no cars. They did tell me to be here at five, didn't they? Maybe they should be pulling up some or something. I ain't never even been back there. Is there a parking garage back there? Let's go back there and see. Huh? They got the gate open, so evidently somebody here. You wanna pray for me? Come on. Say a prayer for me, babe. Say everybody pray. Let me hey, know. I have a little fun. Say a prayer for me, babe. Dear Lord, sweet baby Jesus. Say a prayer for me. <coughs> you don't play with the Lord's prayer like oh, that. Sweet baby you don't that Jesus is not a sweet baby Jesus. Yes. Come on. Dear Lord. Uh, we thank you for this day. It's finally here. As 
place that you watch over my wife, keep her safe, put your arms and hands around her, lay next to her as she is going through this procedure. This place is not open. It's telling me to be here at five o'clock. And it doesn't even look like no one is here. It's five minutes till. 30 doors. I said door number four. There's somebody in there. It's door number three. This looked like some type of uh just those one rooms, safe room. Only patient women are allowed beyond this door. This is the third, it's the fourth door. Patient. It's a doorbell right there, babe. Oh. <laughs> Mm. 
somebody getting out. Yeah. So somebody's getting out. Yeah, I think that's a dude. What'd she say? Huh? Uh, no, that's the She said, the cadet officer five o'clock, so we come on now. She said we can go in? Yeah. She said, she said, they didn't tell you what to do? I said, yeah, we, they said to come and knock on the door for her. We did that and nobody answered. She said, uh, we don't open till five o'clock. But they, they told us to be here right to the things. We came up there, knock on the door, been here for like 20 minutes. Well, it's five o'clock. Yeah, it's she said we can go up there now. Okay. She was running, what she thought she was about to get her. That's why I said don't walk up on her because she probably is getting. That's why I said, hey, excuse me. Right, but that's. I said my wife has an appointment. My wife has an appointment. That's why I said that first. Uh, my wife has an appointment here and we're just trying to see what we need to do. Oh, uh, probably she started her. I'm going to tell you to come and uh, knock on the door for us. Yeah, thank you. So we are not open until 5 o'clock. Well, I mean, we see that no one's here, but we're just going by what we was told. Well, they did say five o'clock. It is five o'clock. It's after five o'clock, actually. She just right. I'm about to put on my sweatpants because it's freezing. So, guys, apparently the receptionist is here, and I guess she's going in to uh, open up shop. And she told my hubby I can come in. So I'm not sure if the doctor is here already or if the doctor is on the way, but I'm going to go ahead in and. You know, see what they need me to do. Alright, guys. Guess it's about that time. I'll put this camera on. I'm going to do like a urine test. You guys see that? So, I have to be very, very quiet, guys. I got my yarn, and she told me to put on the scale. And I'm just basically waiting for her to come back and I guess check my blood pressure and get me prepared for the doctor because the doctor will be here at 6. So she said she's basically going to get me prepared. And then once the doctor get here, they'll, you know, give me the numbing medicine and all that good stuff but I did tell her that I want to talk to the doctor before they give me any medicine because I want to get something understood <laughs> so guys you guys stay tuned hopefully she don't come back and ask me for my phone because they do got a camera in that hallway right there but a lot of people say they can't bring their phone in here but she didn't ask me for mine so I'm going to put it right back in my purse and I'll talk to you guys later after they get done marking me up, hopefully. Stay tuned. Well guys, I've been sitting in this room for a while. They took me out, took some pictures. She came and checked my blood pressure, had me sign some papers, and she gave me my medicine. And now I'm just sitting in here waiting to go back. When I say it is freezing, my hands is frozen. I'm just sitting under this blanket, ready for them to come and get me or whatever. But it's like two minutes to six, so guys, pray for me. Guys, I'm about to go stand over by the heater because it's so freaking cold in here. Jesus. My husband brought my folder, I forgot too.
Alright, peak gang. Welcome back, boy. Band aid boy back there. We get real soon. You see it? Yeah, you see it? You see it? Congratulations, baby. Get real soon with the three amigos. Amigo one, amigo two, amigo three. Yeah. They held it down for me. Much love. You know what I'm saying? So we got it all set up, y'all. We should open the back door to the truck. You know what I mean? She's gonna see the balloons and everything all laid out. Ready for it to go ahead and jump on in and lay on down and be all cozy and everything. You know what I'm saying? You know, I try and do what I can do when I can do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's how you get it done, bruh. Yeah. All right, y'all. All right, I'm about to ride back over here or just post up, you know what I mean, till uh, till they call me. They ain't called me yet, but when they call me, then I'm be on over there to go ahead and check her out and see what's popping. Help her get down this, this little ramp thing they got going on over there. So, you know what I mean? I'm going to um, catch up with y'all in a minute. You know, you know. See how she like it. Hope she coherent enough. They got her drugged up, I think. So hopefully she coherent enough to see what's what's popping. All right, y'all. Like it's cold out here, man. I'm gonna lie. This my best friend right here. Good. I guess it's cool for y'all to record this dude down there talking about I couldn't record. You know, girl thinking I'm recording her, but I'm that's actually looking at myself uh, talking to the camera. That's oh, you got me on there? No, sorry, boo. I ain't got you on there. <laughs> no, that's because we have a lot of females coming I, back Yeah, I totally forward. understand that. Yeah. But I didn't have a camera. I wouldn't have had no camera because they already talked to her. I didn't already talk to them in the morning. Right. Yeah. Well, I'm the social media girl, so they're normally used to me with a camera. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I always got a camera. I told you, I was just telling you about her. <laughs> I was actually chilling like it was not even the, I felt a couple sharp pains but other than that it did not hurt like they was talking about on YouTube it was like you feel everything and they just don't care uh uh they were just, they just didn't take care of them. Dr. Z was amazing. She really was, guys. Hey, I'm not crying. My eyes are watering, man. <laughs> you I'm crying? Not crying? You happy for her? <laughs> no, I ain't. I'm for real. I ain't crying. It's the, the air getting in my eyes. Guys, you got to come check goals out. Come stop and see goals and get your surgery done. What's all this? They, they want to put air handlers on the roof. We got a heating, um, it's just new heating system. Yeah, they picked the wrong time, boy. <laughs> I can't wait to put on my thigh high and see my full results. I'm a lot swollen right now. Oh, you're swollen right now. Uh, but they look good, though. <laughs> they look good. You're swollen right now. I'm looking at their, I'm looking at her showing me my butt. I'm like, uh-uh, they my booty. <laughs> Walking here? No, straight. Have had him or somebody hold it while it's on G back. 
I need some Zaxby's. Listen, I'm ready to go already. <laughs> I ain't ready to go like that. I'm ready to go put on me some little nice things. I can't wait to see the outcome. Okay, let, right me, let me open it. What? I was going to yeah. let you open Hold it. Hold it real quick. Whew. Hold the, the bag. Hold on. Hold on. Come closer to the car. Stay right there. Oh my god, look what he done. We got the bed up in there. Look, look at this. Okay. We got the footstool, guys. My hubby got me some balloons. Ain't this so sweet? Oh my god, I love you so much. Oh, babe. So Guys, you see, I am full of balloons. My hubby bought me. Look at all of this. Oh my God. Look at these balloons and stuff. This is so sweet. I got me little bears. Look what my hubby got me. Look at him. This is so sweet. I got all the. All these little bears to cover up. All these little bears to cuddle with me. When I'm back here in my little bed in the back of the truck. This is so sweet. I was not expecting this. Thank you so much, babe. Thank you. <laughs> Look at him. Now, I'm going to have to lay on my stomach, guys, for a while. Mm, mm, mm. I'm so tired. I fell asleep on the table. Oh, I can't believe this is over with. Here, here look. Uh -huh. Huh? I can't believe this is over with, guys. Yeah. What you about to tell me, babe? Guys, I'm in pain, but not a lot of pain. I'm just really tired. Uh, my booty hurt the most. <laughs> I can't wait to see these results, y'all. I was leaking so much. Yo, yo, yo. It didn't make no sense. I was leaking so much. Uh, mm -hmm. what I did. Hey, let me see. You see that from Gabriel now? Mm-mm. Can you ask her? Huh? Tell, can you ask her to send it to me? Tell I just want to put it in my. I want to edit it and put it in my blog. Ask her when can she send it to me? Guys, I am more than excited, but I am tired at the same time. I cannot believe this is done and over with. My booty. Oh my god. Oh. 
Let's see that booty back there. Y'all can't see that booty. I'm so tired, guys. I am just ready to go to sleep. Huh? I said, I'm glad you coherent. That was a long ago thing. What's up? Is it 11.53? Yeah. It's 11.53, guys. A whole bunch of hours. I mean, I ain't tripping. I just said, I was like, dang, what happened? I said, two hours. I'm telling you, freaking eight. <laughs> <laughs> My mouth was so dry, I fell asleep. Yeah, you can have some of this, brother, or you want some of the water? Oh, uh, yeah. I got my water I'm here. Get some stuff, but she's like, well, I'm gonna call you in, in like 28 minutes. 28 minutes turned into an hour and a half. Mm hmm. Guys, I'm so sleepy and hungry. I don't know why they gave you two Xanaxes and two Benadryl and a Taliban there. That's crazy to me. Mm -mm -mm. But I'm so hungry, y'all. I'm about to eat some sex piece. I'm hungry now. It actually didn't feel too bad. I felt a couple burning when she was sticking out on the needles. But I thought maybe she was going to do an epidural. She didn't do that. She stuck a lot of needles all over my skin. That's what was hurting. It was stinging and pressure. And when she said liposuction in my butt, it's like she couldn't get it out. <laughs> like three times she tried to pull it. When she pulled it, fat flew all over the place. This dude and this lady was like, uh-uh, uh-uh. It, like, oh, it didn't get out of me. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God. Who is these people? No, no privacy. But guys, I recommend that you guys go to Kohl's. Go to Kohl's. So they're asleep, y'all. I, I told him I'm so sorry. My booty hurts you so get bad. Three ranch. Mm. You're so pretty. Guys, go ahead and get your surgery done. It goes. Um, or plastic. Um, it was plastic surgery. They won't get you together. Um, I can barely even see straight. I don't know what the heck they gave me, but I was draining as soon as I got off the table. I was draining bad. That's why I wanted to send me that video. But I was going to eat some soup. Right. I'm going to get some sex piece. I'm hungry now. Mm. You want it now? Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord Jesus. It seemed like a fun little camping trip. My booty's so sore, my booty and hips. Here's my Zaxby's, guys. I'm eating on the way home. I don't normally eat these meals, but I'm eating them today. It looks good, don't it? Very good. What is it I gotta drink? It's like Gatorade. Here. <laughs> don't spill it. Oh, this is pretty good. Hi. Hi. Mr. McAllister. Yeah. Mr. McAllister. They can't put this up there for me. That's good. These are just for children. Just for kids to go get the sun.
it on her face. Babe. 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 pain at all. I am very excited to see my results after everything is finished. I recommend anyone to come and see Dr. Z and yeah. <laughs> <laughs>